This is going to look a little unusual and it's going to sound a little bit strange, but as you can see, I have two versions of Airshow on my device. And in this video, I'm going to explain why and I'm going to explain how to do it. Let's start with the openly available version, which you can download off the internet by simply going to a website. Now, this was recently updated after a certificate got revoked, and we now have a new version number, which is 0.5.0. If you've been successful in downloading Airshow, this is most likely the version you have now, so let's look at it in a bit of detail. Firstly, and most obviously, this is the free version of Airshow that you can download from savagepool.com. If you're having trouble downloading from this source, there are some alternative links in the video description. If you're still having problems, try this. Turn your device off and on again, and then try a different Wi-Fi or wireless network. There have been reports that you can have trouble downloading it from certain internet providers, such as Verizon, which may be blocking a download, so bear that in mind when you try and download Airshow. Next up is the biggest complaint of all. 32-bit support has gone for Airshow, which means it only works on 64-bit devices, which are listed on screen now. Another issue that's been reported has been the orientation problem, whereby Airshow will only record in portrait no matter what orientation you set the recording into. This can be fixed post-recording by putting it through a video editor, and there is a link on the screen now on how to do that. You can also add flaky performance, such as jumping and glitching on screen, and recordings which simply turn black. And finally, let's not forget, due to the nature of this application, where it has to get a certificate, that certificate is going to be revoked in the future, and at some point we'll be back at square one where we can't download or use Airshow until the certificate comes back. In this instance, it took nearly a week. I can kind of guess what you're thinking now. You just want things to go back to the way they were a couple of weeks ago, where Airshow worked for everyone and worked quite well. Well, there is an option. The previous version of Airshow was 0.4.5, and as you can see, I have it on my system now, and it works absolutely fine. I got this version from Bills.io, and I've already done a video about this in more detail, so you can click on screen now. But to summarise, this is what you get. For $9.99 per device, you can download Airshow from this source, and it is the 32-bit version, so it should work on your older iOS device. And you're also downloading a version that was very stable and didn't have the orientation issues that the new version has. And perhaps most importantly, this version of Airshow doesn't need a certificate. It installs locally on your device, never checks the internet for a certificate, so it should always work. Now, as I've said previously, I understand that $9.99 is something that some of you will simply not be able to pay for but it's for those people who want Airshow and never have to deal with any of these issues ever again. And Bills.io is not just about Airshow. It has lots of other interesting applications on there, such as emulators and enhanced versions of very popular apps. And just for full disclosure, Bills.io are not paying me for this. I pay for the service myself. So those are the current options for getting Airshow on your device. And if you've been hit by having a 32-bit device which no longer works, then you might want to go to Twitter and complain to the developer, because he is listening and he may do something about it. So I hope that clarifies the Airshow situation a little bit. If you do have any comments, post them below. Bear in mind I'm being overwhelmed by comments at the moment. I'm reading them all, but I'm not having a chance to respond to them, and I'm going to do a lot more videos about Airshow in the near future, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching, and enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.